on, bro. I, I can't do this. Your mother bro. was in that. It just felt like. Recently, we were invited to Malaysia's first drive-in cinema, M Junction. Today is a hot day. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of TRP Reviews. And for those of you who are new to this channel, uh, my name is Nuver and welcome to the Random Premiere, where we do random reviews of random things that you probably don't think much about. But today, we are going to do something a little different. We are not going to be reviewing a product. What's with the vlog? We've been doing this whole review setup for quite a while now, so I just wanted to switch things up by trying out the vlog concept. You know, like Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon, you know, just inspired by those videos, try to make our content a little bit more different. Malaysia has came up with this um, outdoor cinema concept, okay? I'm, I don't really know much about um, that venue myself, so we're just gonna have to go there and check it out ourselves. But before that, I have to attend a birthday party and after that, I'm going to meet up with the co-host, Mivzal, over at the outdoor cinema place, so I hope I can make it there on time. Talking when opening the door. I was so freaking worried because like we got to the um, venue, which is RGB, this cafe that we went to the other day, remember? Hello. Apparently, they, they don't actually allow us to conduct big parties because of the whole COVID, right? <laughs> right so we're finally done with the birthday celebration. It was amazing, food was good, great company, but now to the main event. We are going to the outdoor cinema, so stay tuned. So eventually, we reach M Junction lah. Hey, sorry, we meet at M Junction. Yeah. We, reach. we are finally here in the uh, M Junction. Yes, M Junction. Yes, All right, man. Sorry, I'm late, guys. <laughs> okay, so what's the plan? Him being half an hour late lah. I should, I should dress. We got. That's. Man. I mean, well, the movie just started. Okay, you guys didn't even park inside the cinema yet because we were waiting for you. But I told you the backup plan was to actually just go in if I was late because so, so that you don't miss the important bits of the movie which we did not watch in the end. Glad we don't know what the movie's about anymore. <laughs> but like, let's get to it. The first thing that really impressed me was the fact that they strictly adhered to the SOPs, you know, for businesses to run. I was pretty astounded at the procedures. I've never seen it before in my life. After we parked, we got a speaker and two fans, which at first seemed, you know, pleasant. Yeah, we were wrong. Well, Nescafe is the main sponsor, and there was a Nescafe booth, but... Wasn't open. Nescafe closed. But more close. Well, we, we tried watching the movie. Um, we had no idea what the movie was about. We were trying to order some food. Apparently you can like scan this QR code and then bring out some sort of menu. The price is not bad. I mean, I might just order something. Do you want anything? What do they have? A trap. Kopi. Try it, try using your phone. How is the food experience overall? Okay, they have some some things here. They're on a flight to Kiev. Yeah, but we... 100 plus 5 ringgit, right. you know, one can is here. Touch with our Ukrainian friends. Uh, I'll just swallow my saliva. Oh, oh no. Look <laughs> at this 5 ringgit, it's f***ing ridiculous, picture. though. Tell him. Lima ringgit for a f***ing can. For a freaking can of 100 plus. Let's go. 5 ringgit for a can of coke. <laughs> I mean, really, Papa. Paringi, That's ridiculous. What is Paringi? Paringi, what do you mean? 5 ringgit for 100 pluses, man. A can of 100 plus 5 ringgit, I bought 3 of those. <laughs> oh man, oh man, we mum up, we got the pita with you. <laughs> and suddenly, the heat just kicked in. Oh, 
nah, bro. I, I can't do this. Your mother was in death. It just felt like. Bro, it's way too. Yeah, you just stormed out of that place and then we just ended up sitting on the on the streets which was somehow a better experience it's 30 bucks per person to sit in the car without the engine running oh, and like you get a miniature fan you're, you're, you're so distracted from the heat i don't even know what the f i'm watching anymore now i know why this is the first in malaysia because you can't do this here it's hot here they can do it in western countries because it's not humid because like some cars, kalau you keep the engine on, you have like the always running lights. Okay, so it will distract the other passengers. So we just just scared lah. No, I completely money. forgot what we're watching. I actually just want to go home. I'm literally about to get that up, man. Four bucks. Pizza, yo, let's go. I'm lunch. And we got like two boxes of free pizza from um, Island, So God bless him. I can use a drink right now. Here, talk to your father. Oh, nice! Nice! Straight up delivery. Panas, right? Panas. Enjoy me, guys. Alright, alright, nice. Thanks, man. Nice. Thank you. Just don't have to forget the money. Alright, finally, finally. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. 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 Let's go. Bukan bisha bisha. We are only doing this because it's free lah. And if we had to pay 90 bucks for this ticket, we're not gonna do this shit, man. <laughs> well, we're not gonna pay 90 bucks for this lah. Sorry. Wah, mama. Kampung kita, mari kita makan. Hari ini Islam selalu belanja dengan pizza ya. Si my level lah. Kampung, kau sekolah tak? Si my level, world class only. <laughs> Plus, for you too, cameraman. Lain free Right, guys. Enjoy. We have reached the end of the movie. Your thoughts? Your thoughts? Well, we are outside of the car. Over What do you think? I prefer. Better than staying inside the yeah, car. Better than staying inside the car. We just like chill here. It's windy. You know, it's cold. You can just go. And I love it. it's damn stuffy. You see, if they made this kind of concept, if you you look to see love, you know, at a park or something somewhere, cooling a good thing. Man, I would go. To be honest. Yeah. But despite all that, somehow we had the balls to interview the organizer. Well, of course, I mean, I mean, we, we, we can diss the place and make fun of it, but in the end, we still have to respect the founder of the place that we hate so much, right? I mean, it's not his fault that it sucks. Okay, it's completely his fault that it sucks. Huh? Where was Jack, one of the organizers of Nescafe's M Junction Drive-In Cinema? Jack, what was the inspiration behind this concept? Uh, well, what actually um, came in mind at, uh, during MCO that um, we as an event company, we actually uh, had no source of income. We actually mm -hmm. lost uh, our source of income during the MCO and we thought like, you know, what we do different um, to generate back, um, you know, um, income um, for our staff, uh, for give back something to the community and create something different uh, for people uh, in a safe environment. Uh, that's how we came up with this whole driving cinema concept and we thought that, you know, um, if other countries can do it, uh, why couldn't we? Uh, our own uh, our only factor is actually here down here is actually the weather which is, uh, we are quite in a humid uh, country but we thought uh, we're not going to stop just because of the weather we're just going to go ahead and do it if it weren't for the MCO would this exist right now? honestly if our business was um, as usual before our MCO yeah. uh, probably we would actually never thought of doing this well since you've heard all that is it worth it?